So I've definitely been spoiled by this weather. Um, it's going to be like 60s all week and there isn't much sunshine and it's making me sad. Um, this is definitely not bad at all compared to what I used to have in New Jersey, but I am very sensitive to the cold, which is one of the main reasons I moved here. So I tend to wear this down jacket quite a bit, even though it's warm outside. Um, the office tends to be very cold. Every single office I've ever been in is too cold for me and just working when it's cold is very unbearable so I tend to wear this around the office all the time. People think I'm weird or that I must be sweating my ass off but nope it keeps me nice and warm and it also doesn't overheat you so I could wear this outside when it's like 65 and breezy and it's just fine so yeah, kind of sucks that it's gloomy all week, but it's still much better than what I used to have. Um, I'm just about to head into work now. It is Tuesday, so it's Halloween, and we have a party at 4 o'clock. I was really hoping to get in so I could leave before this party happened, but I might have to stay for a little bit of it because it's after 8 o'clock and... I probably can't leave beforehand, but I don't want to hang around for it, so hopefully people won't keep track of me and I can just slip out. <laughs> so today was kind of a weird day for me. It was gloomy for most of the day and now the sun is out, which is awesome because I just got off work. Um, for some reason today I felt just really moody. Um, I felt down in a sense. Not necessarily sad, but I wasn't in such a great mood. Um, things were maybe bothering me more than usual and maybe I had several things on my mind that might have been worrying me or creating some concerns. In my mind, I tend to feel guilty about a lot of things. Um, I tend to be overly critical of how I spend my money. So maybe in the beginning, I would be buying stuff that brings me temporary happiness, but by the end of the month when I see my bill, I'm not so thrilled about it. Um, I think this is something that I really need to work on because it's not the healthiest decision, I think, to spend and then later on feel guilty about it. At some point, I'm going to need to not worry too much about it because it's not that I'm necessarily going broke or anything, but I would like to start saving. But before I can do that, I need to pay off my credit card. When I first moved here, I opened up a 0% card and probably bought several things that were not essential purchases. So that card kind of ramped up a bit and now I have until September 2018 to pay it off. And I am kind of really focused or want to be to get rid of it as soon as possible. I have always lived my life where at the end of the month my credit card would be back to zero and having this other card just sitting there with thousands on it doesn't feel so great and even though I still have time, um, sometimes I just want to make sure that I'm not going to put it off. I just w don't want that card to ever become an issue so I want to make sure I stay ahead of it. Anyways, I'm super glad that there's at least some sunlight. I do think that I may have let the gloominess of today affect my mood more than it should have, but I am I already feel a little more energy and um, joy from this sunlight, so I am going to get back and I'm going to try to take Riley for an extended walk. Riley, good girl. It's always nice having her lying here next to me when I watch movies, but uh, <laughs> can't always do it 100% of the time. 
Dogs are very good at reading your habits and sometimes you need to change things up. <laughs> I just got done watching Short Term 12. It is a movie that I saw, uh, I'd say four years ago. I, I've only seen it once, but it is a really good movie. And I didn't really have a new movie lined up that I was particularly eager for. So I wanted to rewatch this movie because I had really fond memories of it. Um, the subject matter of it is sad and it is really touching. Um, this was, I think, the first movie that I saw Brie Larson in, and she is so good in it. Everybody in this movie is so good, and it was really nice to watch it over again. It just makes you feel so good when you watch a movie that really is amazing in all aspects. Um, yesterday, I watched Retribution. It is a Spanish movie, and... I don't really think I feel like doing a separate video anymore for um, what movies I've seen because I think when I tend to sit down and try to talk for long periods of time, it gets really tough because I start getting self-conscious about what I'm saying. I try not to say um so much and I try to sound coherent, but at times it's not so easy, especially when you're trying to just talk without a script. So, I watched Retribution. It's, it was pretty interesting. Uh, action thriller, I guess you can say. It has L Luis Tosar in it. I hope I'm saying his last name right, but I've seen a few of his movies already. The first movie that I saw him in was a creepy one. It was called Sleep Tight. If you haven't seen it yet, I would say if you want to kind of get weirded out, you should watch it. <laughs> um, it was weird, but for some reason I still enjoyed watching it. So that one is another suggestion right there. Um, I don't really have much going on for me this week. Uh, excuse this because I am going to the gym later on and I uh, just try to go as late as possible so there's not as many people there. I go to a local gym, so it's rather small. That's something I'm still trying to get used to is how much less space there is around here. Uh, my current apartment is one bedroom and it costs more than the one I was living in in New Jersey, but I have like half the space I had there and I miss it a lot sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I'd say gym and then, oh, I have actually started kind of messaging random custom woodworkers around the area with my cat tree idea. Um, I've already had one, one rejection. Not very nice. I kind of get the feeling that people would reject a project like this because they wouldn't feel like it's prestigious enough to make public after they make it for, um, I'd say publicity, but that might not be the right word I'm thinking of. Uh, basically, they want to make nice looking projects that can attract other customers. And I'm thinking that a cat tree is not the best idea for that. Maybe they don't think it's worth the time and effort spent, which you can't really advertise a product like that. I have no idea, but I feel like I would be willing to pay a decent amount for this project. I'm hoping that it wouldn't cost as much as the little robot back there because that one feels really expensive, but if this cat tree idea works really well, then I am willing to spend just as much as that one because I feel like having litter spread around my house kind of gives me the feeling that it feels messy. And even if it's just litter that's messy, it's still doesn't give you the greatest feeling. Um, it also feels kind of worthless to clean up at times because it just comes back so quickly. I do think there is another aspect of the whole 
uncleanliness of the house, which is Rylai's hair. Every time she gets out of her crate, she shakes and a lot of hair comes off. And then it just ends up, you know, drifting along the floors. If I walk by, it blows around and it just looks terrible, but I can't vacuum multiple times a day. I mean, I could, but it's not realistic, I think. So, uh, I, guess, I guess the lesson to be learned is that really think it through when you get pets. I think I am just going to head to the gym soon and then maybe spend some time applying.